Hello, everyone. It's Dr. Desiree Alexander, a.k.a. Educator Alexander, and here is your five-minute tip for this week. So we are here in Microsoft PowerPoint, and for some reason, when you go to insert, there's a button called icons that I just completely skipped over. And if you knew about this, I am upset because you never told me. So I'm just learning about this, and I want it to share. So when you come here to insert icons, you have a bunch of different things. Now, I am a Microsoft 365 subscriber, and a lot of you are through your school districts and things like that. So I do have full access to the full library. But I pay a separate service to get these types of icons. I'm like, are you kidding me that this is just here ready for me to use? I can also search right here. And if I'm looking for a heart, I'm just going to either double click or I can single click and hit insert, either one. Now I have my black and white icons that I use so much in my presentations. But wait, there's more. So I'm going to come back to insert icons. And you have cut out people. I was just like, wait, yeah, people that can point to your information. Yeah, people that are holding some. I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. And they're very diverse. I'm inclusive. I'm just all about this. So I can, you know, go ahead and double click him. And just like any picture, I can change the size. And then I can do like an insert text box and actually write on his sign. I am, y'all, I'm so excited. And then I can come back to insert icons. And you have different things like stickers. Now, stickers are going to be, you know, on top of whatever. It's like a, a real sticker is going to be on top of whatever you have on there already. But look at all the cute stickers. And then you have illustrations. So all kinds of stuff that you can use here. And you have cartoon people. And notice they have categories at the top as well. And then I came to videos and got really, really excited. I'm like, wait, there's videos that I can include. And if I just hover over it, you see that it is moving. It shows me kind of what the video is going to do. So if I wanted to do, you know, we don't want all those words on our presentations, right? So if I wanted to come here and do like fill out the evaluation, I can just double click or click and click insert. And y'all have a video and it kind of automatically puts it at full screen and you see how it looks on the slide. But of course I can make it different sizes. And like with any video, if you click on the video itself, you get video format and playback. So you get different options for your video. For example, under playback, I can say, well, as soon as I go to this slide, I want it to play automatically. The cool thing is that, you know, you can make it really, really small and still say play full screen. So it's not even going to show a slide. It's going to play like a big movie on your screen. So you have a bunch of different options there. But I was just so excited to find insert icons that I cannot even contra contain myself. You also have other things here, like you have your kind of normal shapes that you can always do and, you know, change the color and all that kind of stuff. You have your 3D models, which are really, really awesome. So if I wanted to come here and say, you know, I want to put something for biology, I want to put this in here. Now, if you leave your screen looking like this while you're, you know, presenting to your kiddos, then you can kind of do that and move it all around. But if you, like, if I leave it right here and then I go to um, play, so it's going to like stay, like I can't move it once it's in, you know, presentation mode. But look how awesome that is. Are you kidding me? And then if I go back to insert, you also have smart art. Now I have used this in the past because it's a really, really easy way to make your data look really, really good. So if I wanted to do like that, you know, I can click insert and it's going to do it for me. And then I just click it and put the text. I can change the colors of how I want this to look. Um, you know, change it to be like a 3D model. So really, really, really awesome. And then you have your charts that you can come here and, you know, say I want a pie graph and insert and do all that kind of thing. So there you go. And put your data in there. So, so many awesome things. The one that really just set me on fire are icons, but so many awesome things that you can insert just in this little illustration section, right? You have a whole toolbar here, but just here. So if you like this video, definitely click the thumbs up button to like it and click that big red subscribe button to subscribe to the channel and good luck.